Super excited to talk about the Swickley Luxury Area in Pittsburgh today. In this video, we're going to talk about, I'm actually going to show you on the MLS, what you can get for $900,000. But I'm actually going to go one step further. What can you get for $900,000 and above? And I'm going to tell you, we're going to get into properties over $5 million. Are you ready? Let's make it happen. All right, so in this video, I am going to show you on the West Penn Multi List what you can get, what's active for 900,000. Condos doesn't matter. Freestanding homes, manufactured homes, they don't, manufactured homes aren't gonna exist. So what we're gonna do is search 900,000 and above. The school district of Sewickley, Sewickley Heights, Edgeworth, etc., is all going to be in here. All right, so if we look at the results, and I always like to have them line item, you can see this is the lowest to highest. So to answer the question, what can you get for 900,000 in Swickley? Nothing, nada. You're looking in the wrong area if you're looking for 900,000. That's not actually true. I'm just messing with you. Literally, if you look for 900,000, there's nothing. Zero matches, but you could always go under 900,000 as well and you'll find houses in every price point all the way down as low as 100,000. Again, this is the school district. And you can see if you just pinpoint so quickly, the lowest property active currently as of today is 210,000 and that's going to be a little one bedroom apartment. All right. So instead of looking at all that small stuff, what we're going to do is look at 900,000 and above. We've got 25 options. We're not going to look at all 25. We'll probably pick a house out of each price point, and I'm probably just going to stick to Swickley, even though you can see there are um, other boroughs in the school district that is Swickley, and uh, you could look at those Osborne, Edgeworth, Swickley Heights, but I'm just going to stick to Swickley because that's kind of the title of this video. So the lowest priced property over $900,000 currently is this 221 Beaver Street. Four bedroom, three bath. It's, it's almost 4,000 square feet. That's huge. So I mean, just by looking at these numbers and knowing it's uh, only a million dollars, I'm going to assume it probably uh, needs renovated. So we'll take a look inside. Super cool looking house, right? Look at the overhang on that. I mean, again, look at, look at the customness. You just don't get new construction. I stand corrected. This property is updated. Really nice house. I love that backsplash. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment if you could on what you think about some of these things. So and the market in Pittsburgh is picked up exponentially, the, especially the luxury market. So, you know, a million dollar house was crazy back in the day. But nowadays, million dollar houses in the luxury sector is kind of a low number. So um, this is a pretty nice house. I've actually physically shown this house um, and, and it's very nice. It's typical Swickley house or a Squirrel Hill house or Shady Side house. That's an old structure that you has been got renovated or just renovated over the years. Um, so very nice house, finished basement, a little um, movie theater room. Of course, you've got the Peloton space. That has to be a, that's a standard post COVID. You got to have a Peloton room. Got some green yard and um, a nice garage. Looks like a two car garage. And it's right on Beaver Street. That's kind of one of the main flows when it comes to Swickley. If we pull up a map, yeah, Beaver Street's kind of like one of the main streets through there. So that is what we're going to get uh, in, a, in the lowest house over 900,000 currently when I record this video. So let's jump out of the $1 million. Let's do a house in each price point, basically. So if we jump up to 2 million, so you can see we have something at 1.9 and then really a million dollars apart is Autobahn. This is going to be Sewickley Heights, um, 27 acres. It's probably one of the driving factors for the price, I would imagine, because it is only a 2000 square foot house, three bedroom, two and a half bath. So those numbers, those stats don't typically command a $3,000 price tag. But um, let's take a look. Let's take a look inside. Very cool. I mean, if you're looking for pri privacy, this is definitely the place for you or a candidate uh, for you to look at. Super cool custom construction, very unique. I mean, this is really unique. Two-story kitchen, big windows, letting all that natural light in, love it. Floor is kind of unique, flagstone it looks like. Stone with a three-sided fireplace, it looks like right there. Again, uniqueness is what this property has. Sunken living room, tons of room for furniture. Oh, super cool. Looks like the owner's bedroom looks out, has a wall of windows. This is typical in more warmer climates, but to see it here in Pittsburgh, that's very cool. And it looks like there's a pond or is it a pool? Let's take, let's keep looking. Don't worry about paint colors. You can always repaint. 
Oh, very cool. Uh, look how cool if you had horses or animals. Oh, that's a pool. Okay, I just, just had a cover on with weeds on it. So that's very, very cool house, right? Nice view. All right, so that agent has it listed at $3 million. I don't know if that's worth it or not. I'm not in a position to comment. Just want to kind of show you what's out there in the Sewickley, uh, Quaker Valley School District for $900,000 and above. So that was a something in the $2 million price point, even though it's really a $3 million. We have one, two, three, four, four three million dollar properties to take a look at let's just go right to the top this is in swickley heights now oh very cool house huh look at that wow 42 acres that's gonna be the 11 000 square foot house six bedroom seven bath two partials those numbers definitely come in a high price tag very cool that is a palace this is what you'd expect that super cool staircase huge entry very luxurious very unique very old school too Good size kitchen looks like big island i mean the cabinets go with the style of house that's perfect very cool living area wow check that out a frame looks like a fireplace up there oh yeah that's super super unique that could even be a three-story if you ask me all right very nice dedicated very regal office nice bath it's funny how this tile comes back in style. I don't know when this tile was done, uh, the floor and the wall, but those were, that, that style was done old school 50, 60 years ago, and it's most definitely come back in style. Cool little um, mud room, I'd call it maybe. Man, it's such great architecture in this house. Unfortunately, it's low ceilings, man. That's that's typical of the old style homes, but more make more than makes up for it. Wow, yes, absolutely fantastic herringbone pattern brick in the fireplace again privacy so Wickley area that school district gives you a lot of opportunity for houses with privacy uh, and you can see that now this is the second house we had that is over 10 acres so let's look at something in the four million dollar price point oh shoot I guess that would be considered our four million dollar price point because there is nothing we jump up to five and then we will finish off the video with 9.5 very interested to see that okay so let's pick a five nine which is basically the six million dollar price point 10 acres Again, if you notice, there's a pattern. You're getting privacy in this uh, Quaker Valley School District. Swickley, Swickley Heights, Edgeworth. Six uh, bedrooms, eight full baths. You know, when you're hitting this price point, th three halves, you got to expect that and acreage. There's a certain level of expectation. Well, let's just dive right in the photos, man. The photos are, tell, uh, are super telling. Very, actually, this is really smart to photograph this when the leaves are off the trees because you can see the house. This house looks amazing. I love that U shape, like it wraps around. Oh, yes. So you have a fall or spring photo for the first one with the leaves off, and then you have a summer photo. Great job, a listing agent. Uh, very unique doors. Again, when you get in the $6 million price point in Pittsburgh, I expect a lot of uniqueness, artistic creativity. And then you can see that is what we're seeing here. Obviously a super custom built home. Yes, 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 very nice. Great architecture. And you find this often in the Swickley area. Stunning. Oh, super cool, an active garden. I, I'm not a gardener, and even if you're not one, you kind of have to at least respect it. It kind of makes you want to be a gardener. Look, they have the pebbled path. Maybe in another life. Oops, did I skip them? Oh yeah, look how cool that is, stone. I'd be willing to bet that's real stone, not just that um, cheap stuff, uh, imitation stone, I should say, not cheap stuff, imitation stone. Probably the owner's suite. Probably a dedicated office, movie room. And anytime, and the less drywall you have in a house, the higher the price of the home, the higher the value of the home. So when you start getting wood, a lot of stone walls and wood on the ceilings, uh, expect that price to be high. And, and understandably so, look how much better that looks than drywall. That's the basement too, it's a nice finished basement. Again, another fireplace, herringbone pattern brick inside. Just an absolute all around stunning place. Look at that, man, the amount of labor that went into that is probably is one of the reasons why the price is kind of high well not high um, 
a big number. Okay, last uh, house we're gonna look at is the Stunner. What do you get for 900,000 in this video? Well, I'm just gonna bump that up to 9.5 million. <laughs> what is that, 10 times the number I originally had? So again, you got acreage. You're always gonna get over three bedrooms or over four bedrooms when you start asking these uh, insanely high numbers. So seven bedroom, eight full bath, three partial. Blackburn Road is a very popular road. Unfortunately, it looks like there's only two photos. So maybe this seller, uh, this happens a lot in the Swickley area is they, they want you to sell their house, but they don't want it on the market. So maybe there, this is like a feeling. There's only two photos, guys. So I'm sorry, this is all we're gonna be able to look at. So. That's it. I mean, you're gonna have to take a bird's eye view. So it looks like the driveway has some sort of uh, portico or something like that. You would drive under two of them. Looks like you might drive under here, come around and drive under again. It's got it's a compound, obviously. You've got a pool, then you've got a super cool, um, oh, I forget what they call that, maze type garden. And of course, just, you know, a whole bunch of acreage. So like, that's all we're gonna be able to see for this one, unfortunately. Super cool little pond. These are all things you're expecting whenever, you know, you have a listed at the highest price. Uh, in the Swickley uh, Quaker Valley School District actively. So I hope you enjoyed uh, what you can get in the Quaker Valley School District, which is again, the Swickley Heights area for $900,000 and above. There were some stunners there, huh? How about some of those herringbone pattern bricks in the fireplace? You don't usually see that. All the privacy with the acreage, you're not gonna get um, playing communities in the Swickley area. Uh, in any price point, especially whenever you start cresting over four million, five million dollars. But I would be interested to hear what you thought of any of the houses, any of the particulars about the houses, the price points, whatever. So comment below if you can. Always make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell and, and get all notifications so the next luxury video I put up, you get notified.